Hello and welcome back to a series of videos where I fall on my face trying to start a startup. Um, but seriously, I'm working on a series of videos where I actually try to create and uh, finish a startup in a week. Um, this is inspired by a 24-hour startup uh, movement that I saw on Twitter. Um, I don't think that I can do it in 24 hours, but I do have the week off of work, so um, there's no excuse um, why I can't get this done in a week. Now, I chose uh, Next.js as my React framework uh, because it has some things such as routing and code splitting and server-side rendering right out of the box. Now, the server-side rendering I will not be using. I will probably use Firebase or something of that nature for um, my server and database needs. And I chose to do that because um, this week isn't about necessarily writing code and um, using, uh, you know, say Node for servers and database or whatever. This is more uh, learning how to actually start a startup and get something off the ground. So I actually want to write as little code as possible and learn more about the business side of things, the marketing side of things and uh, everything else. Anywho, uh, let's go into the uh, Next.js documentation, and I will copy down the um, npm installation command, uh, which will install next, react, and react dom. Uh, first thing first, I actually have to make the directory for my project. Uh, let's see into that cd into that directory and initialize the package.json. Everything here looks good. A web application that allows users to track their progress over 12 weeks. Um, let's see, entry point is index.js. I'll probably delete that later. There's no test command, no git repository, which reminds me I have to git init this. And that's it, we're all good. Let's install uh, next react and react dom. While that's doing its thing, let's actually go into the project using VS Code. And um, here you'll see in my terminal that I ha I used an alias code uh, to easily go into the project that I am inside the terminal. If you haven't set that up, I strongly recommend it. It's uh, it makes things super easy. Let's copy this scripts uh, here and put that into the package.json. Everything's going really slow. Okay, I will not have a main property there. Okay, so that looks like a good package.json. Uh, the next thing that I need to do is populate uh, pages in Next.js to have this code just to make sure everything is working properly. So I'm going to do exactly that, pages in Next.js, and um, make sure that things are running properly. So let's create pages forward slash index.js. Now, um, the way that Next.js works is that anything inside of the pages folder will uh, automatically, we can automatically route to. It's pretty amazing and I'll go into that um, a lot more in detail as I continue on with with this uh, startup, startup attempt. Anywho, let's go in here and export Welcome to Next.js. Now, I want you to notice that I did not import React from React here. Um, again, that's something that Next.js automatically takes care uh, for us. So that's also pretty awesome. Uh, let's open up the terminal here in um, VS Code as I'm in it and do npm run dev and see if that works. If that works, um, my application's finished. That's all that you're here, folks. That's the application. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but at least I have, um, I, I know that my Next.js uh, setup is working as I hoped. Let, here, let's go to localhost 3000. Of course, that doesn't work. And that doesn't work. Awesome, nothing is working. Local host colon 3000. Am I crazy? You'll see, uh, okay, boom. Welcome to Next.js. Um, Next.js is all hooked up, it's all working. So um, that there is how you start a project with Next.js. Obviously, 
um, I'm going to flesh this out. But as for my next step, again, I want rapid deployment and to make sure that everything is working on the uh, domain and website hosting side of things. So um, uh, the next thing I need to do is actually deploy to Netlify. So stay tuned for my next video where I actually deploy this Welcome to Next.js application to Netlify and hook it up to the uh, Google domain that I bought in the first video. If you don't remember, that's www.12weeksofgreatness.com, and uh, you'll see all this hopefully land there soon. Uh, thanks for watching. This is the Web Dev Coach, and I'll catch you guys later.